Okay, so I thought I'd take a chance here, or take an opportunity, since the kids were playing together pretty well, and Silas is pretty happy, that I'd make a quick video introducing uh, some thoughts and some things um, about autism and kind of, kind of our experiences with how people kind of view it overall. Hey, Bubba, how are you? This is Bubba. Bubba is seven years old. Bubba, he is Silas's brother, right? Yeah. Half brother, but brother, and, same thing. And I just leaved from EJ's house. Yeah, EJ is your cousin, right? You're at EJ's house. Yeah. Yep. And did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. What did, what did you do for fun? What did you do for fun over there? What did you do that was fun? We went outside and played cars. Oh, that's fun. You pretended Bumping to... Bumper cars. Bumper cars, kind of like, right? Yeah. Cool. And, um, and we played um, uh, lightning. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's, and the marble truck. That's all I know. Mm-hmm. Cool. Do you, what do you want, Silas? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want more copy? Copy. Say more copy, please. Oh, copy. Say please. Me. Okay, just a second. Here, Baba, come take this to Mama and get more drink for him, please. Okay. So, just wanted to kind of show you when you talk to your typical child, like Baba. I mean, Baba's seven, obviously a lot older than Silas, but you know, when you talk to him, he's engaged, he's smiling, he's looking at you and telling you about the fun times that he had and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty normal. Obviously, Silas doesn't really interact that way. He kind of likes to jump around um, and kind of in his own little world, which is kind of what we see when we see a autistic child, okay? So why does all that even happen? What is even the, uh, the point of any of this? Well, yes, he wants his copy pretty bad. So my point is, that we, as humans, we process stuff and we judge other people and we have our reactions to other people um, based on how they are reacting. So when we see somebody smile, we think, oh, that person's happy, right? When we see somebody crying, we think, oh, that person's sad, something sad happened. And what do you think, Bubba? EJ was crying. Okay. When, the, when he lost the game. Okay, that's a good example. So EJ lost a game and he was crying, okay? So let's take that for example. Somebody loses at something or somebody gets upset and they cry, okay? We judge that based on our experience, but we judge that output that somebody has based on the assumption, the assumption that everybody has the same inputs. In other words, we base it on the assumption that when I tell a funny joke or when we hear something funny, that the reaction should be laughter, like, you know, smiling and laughter. Or when I tell a sad story, um, then people should cry or you should be sad, okay? Now, but what about, here's a great example, and I'm not saying that this is an autistic tendency, but I'm saying here's a great example of something. What about those people that for whatever reason, find it hilarious when somebody trips and falls, right? Maybe you're one of those people. Maybe you're one of those people when you see somebody fall, you can't help but laugh. Even if the person gets injured, you can't help but laugh. You see, your input is a little bit different than other people's input, okay? So, Silas, and the way kind of our experience has been with autism, is that basically his input is different than ours. He sees things different. Uh, mostly we suspect 
Uh, you know, some autistic kids, they have uh, uh, audible issues, they have some more sensory issues. Some of his issues are um, visual, okay? So, the visual problems that he has sometimes make him very excited. So, some kids' typical excitement, uh, when they get excited, maybe on uh, they see something that they really like or whatever, they might laugh or they might like say, Yay! Silas, that's why he, that's why he runs. And that's why he hops, and that's why he flaps his hands when he sees something that's exciting and something that's fun. So, it's just a different input which creates a different output. So you just gotta be careful, and that's the whole point to all this is, you know, we tend to judge people so much on what we see them doing, and we really don't know how they're feeling about what is happening to them. I talked to you a little bit earlier in another video about how Silas doesn't like having his teeth brushed. It's, uh, it's similar. Everybody loves Silas's haircut, okay? But Silas has that haircut because trying to cut his hair is like trying to catch a cat to take a bath. It's impossible. And he flails and he flings. And we've got sharp scissors coming around his head trying to cut his hair. It's very difficult. Um, so that's why he has the bowl cut. And if you see right here in the front, right there, you can see I didn't do too great of a job. Right there, it's a little uneven. <laughs> but we do it as fast as we can and get it done. So that's all. So I hope you guys are enjoying getting this little insight into our world. And we got these cool shirts too, by the way. I think we got these, uh, where did we get these shirts? Amazon. Check this shirt out. Can I see your shirt, Silas? Come here. Let me see your shirt. Come here. Come here, buddy. Stand over here with the light in this way. Yeah! You want to see your shirt? It says, I'm not misbehaving. I have autism. Please be understanding. And then he has another cool shirt that says, I get flappy when I'm happy. I get flappy when I'm happy. Yeah. Well, anyway, hope you had a good time getting to know a little bit more about us. We'll, uh, check in again in a little bit, another day. So what I'm going to do, I'll post a link to the Amazon link to the t-shirts where we got those from, and uh, you can check those out for yourself. And also, if you want to keep up with our channel and what's going on, if we post any new videos, make sure you hit like and subscribe and the little notification bell. And also, we have a Facebook page for The Sound of Silas, as well as the website, The Sound of Silas. TheSoundOfSilas.com. That is The Sound of Silas, in case you were wondering. That's screaming and, and running, so we hear that a lot. Um, and coming soon, we will have a Patreon page coming soon, so we're going to get some cool first-person footage. We're going we're gonna to strap a GoPro to Silas and see what that looks like. That should be pretty interesting. So you, uh, in the future, you Patreon subscribers will have the Silas cam, and that'll be pretty cool. So looking forward to a lot of stuff coming up. But for now, we're going to sign off, and we appreciate you, and we hope that we've been able to educate you and encourage you uh, with our story. Take care. Bye.